How are human body parts permanently preserved? Medical students from Hippocrates to Dr. Oz learned the ins and outs of human anatomy by studying the recently deceased, but they had to look fast while fending off maggots and decay. In the 1950s and 60s, plastic replicas of organs and body parts gave students more permanent objects to study, but they weren't as detailed as the real thing. But a process called plastination preserves human body parts forever. Plastination makes it possible for students to handle a human eye, hand, or brain. The real thing, with vessels, veins, and cells intact, except that it's hard and durable. In 1977, while working as an anatomy assistant at the University of Heidelberg's Institute of Anatomy, German anatomist Gunther von Hagen saw his first specimen preserved in a polymer block. He wondered why the plastic was poured around the specimen instead of within it, so he worked to develop the process we now know as plastination. Plastination is an expensive, time-consuming process. First, no matter which body part one wants to preserve, it's necessary to embalm the entire body. Scientists pump formaldehyde through the blood vessels, halting decomposition. The formaldehyde keeps the cells and structures looking just as they did when the person was alive, but only temporarily. Next, technicians remove the body parts to be plastinated and place them in an acetone bath to dissolve soluble fats, leaving the muscles, arteries, and veins exactly as they were when the heart was still pumping. The main stage of plastination is called forced impregnation. Scientists remove the organs and body parts from the acetone bath and place them in a vacuum chamber with liquid plastic or polymer. The vacuum sucks the acetone from each cell, immediately vaporizing it. This process creates a vacuum that forces each cell to pull in the plastic resin until eventually the transparent plastic has replaced all the fluids. This process takes a few days for an organ the size of the heart, even longer for an entire cadaver. Once every cell has been saturated in liquid plastic, technicians position the body part using wires, clamps, and needles, then place it under an ultraviolet light to harden. It's a 1,500 hour process that can take up to a year to complete. The finished product is more than a replica though. It's the real thing, with every structural element in its place, preserved forever.